Greetings, Star Wars fans, and welcome to Screen Rant. I'm Greg Elliott, and I'm sure you know that the original Star Wars trilogy has gone through quite a few changes since the theatrical releases of the movies, and dare I say it, some of those changes haven't exactly been for the better. Now, let me start by saying that this is in no way a comprehensive list. That's what lists are for, okay? So did you know that the movies actually had some minor changes well before the 97 special editions? Yeah, between the first movie's initial release in May 1977 and the wider release later that year, they did make a few adjustments, mainly to special effects. They cleaned up some explosions, recomposited a matte painting, added an extra cloud to the scene where the fighters take off from Yavin 4, yeah, an extra cloud, and they tweaked with the spacing and fixed a glitch in the scrolling end credits. All in all, pretty minor stuff to be honest. But then in 1981, they added Episode 4, A New Hope, to the opening crawl to fit the style of The Empire Strikes Back, which also got some subtle tweaks when they made the 70mm prints, such as the Emperor's hologram not fading at the start of his conversation with Darth Vader, and a handful of other small cuts and alternate takes. But thankfully, they didn't touch Return of the Jedi, at least until the first special edition. So 1997 is where it all started to go off the rails. For the 20th anniversary of A New Hope, they made a lot of changes, including adding a CG job of the Hutt, but most notably changing the scene between Han and Greedo. In the original cut, Han just shoots Greedo, but in the 97 special edition, Greedo shoots first and misses, with Han's head being digitally altered to dodge the shot. Empire got some changes as well, but none of those were as big or controversial as those in New Hope. They cleaned up some scenes, like the opening battle sequence, replaced some background details with CG stuff, altered some minor dialogue, and in Return of the Jedi, they gave the Sarlacc a beacon more tentacles. Ula's death scene added shots that showed her in the pit, and they also changed the Max Rebo band song and replaced the singer with a CG version. And the song at the end of the movie, when the Rebels and Ewoks are celebrating, was replaced with a score composed by John Williams. I guess I won't complain too much about that one. But then came the 2004 DVD re-release. For this version, some of the 97 changes were removed, but more were made. In A New Hope, the Han and Greedo scene got tweaked again to make them both shoot almost simultaneously, and they replaced CG Jabba with a newer CG Jabba to make him match the Phantom Menace better. And this version did also add a sound effect to the Stormtrooper bumping his head on the doorframe. Take over. Empire and Return of the Jedi actually got some big changes this round to make them fit with the prequels. Ian McDiarmid replaced the original Emperor in all his scenes, they digitally removed Sebastian Shaw's eyebrows since Anakin had now been burned in Revenge of the Sith, and also changed his eye color to match Hayden Christensen's. And the big one was replacing him with Hayden Christensen in the final scene where Anakin, Yoda, and Obi-Wan's Force Ghosts appear to Luke. Which brings us to the 2011 Blu-ray release. A New Hope added a freaking rock in front of R2 when they're hiding from the Tusken Raiders, yeah, a rock and they removed some more frames from Han and Greedo's shootout. Empire removed a visible puppeteer rig on the Wampa attacking Luke, and in addition to adding some things like CG eyelids on some Ewoks, Return of the Jedi now has Darth Vader yelling no before throwing the Emperor into the reactor, which in my humble opinion just makes that scene super cheesy now. So there you go, there are some great resources online that go into all of these changes in incredible detail, but I hope you enjoyed this quick rundown of some of the biggest ones. Keep coming back to Screen Rant for your Star Wars fix. I'm Greg Elliott, and I'll see you next time. Peace.